Hey guys, I forgot to mention this in a video. Uh, today's video, we're gonna actually see how long the trail is. So I forgot to completely mention that. I've been told it's six miles. I've been told it's seven miles. I've been told it's nine miles. I personally think it's eight miles, just like Eminem said. Uh, but this video again, we're gonna do a loop around the trail. Let's see how long it is, we'll go from there. What's up YouTube, Stonebreaker does stuff here and give me two seconds, Stonebreaker is gonna be drinking a sip of water. Gotta love Casey's spring water, it's five bucks for a pack of 24. So if you live in the Midwest, just run, go buy it right now. Um, but today is Sunday, June 2nd, 2024, and I'm uh, relaxing, white legs and all. I'm at the Covington Circle Trail, my home away from home when it comes to e-biking. Got the beautiful, bright, vivant Ingwe E26. Haven't ridden it for a while. Uh, had to air up the tires a little bit and had to do some little maintenance things to it. Uh, the pedals were kind of coming off. I don't know what was going on. Just had to tighten them a little bit, but it's perfect shape again. So I figured today, as you guys can see, Give you a quick circle, ready? We're gonna do a really fast circle. If you guys get uh, dizzy, whoa, I, I just about got dizzy. Um, if you guys got dizzy and passed out, don't sue me. All right, so instantly you notice with the tree leaves coverage, temperature drops down a little bit. Um, I think today it's like the high 70s or whatever. I'm not entirely for sure, but as I talked about just earlier, it had been uh, gray skies and just kind of like I don't think it rained, but it looked like it was going to, and then randomly it's like, boom, sunshine and Tweety Birds and happiness. So anytime we get sunshine, Tweety Birds and happiness, even if I'm not feeling it, which to be honest today, I'm not really feeling it, especially since it's 5.30, but hey, I can't disappoint, so let's get a ride in. Need to get the Strava going. Helps me keep track of when I need to edit and how long the video is going to be. So we started at the south end of the trail at the little seating area. Let's go ahead and finish there. So we're basically just going to do a whole lap on the trail today. Um, who knows what will happen. Maybe we'll see animals. Maybe I'll get in a wreck. Maybe I'll get a phone call saying I won the lottery and then I don't have to make any more YouTube videos because I'll have millions of dollars and I'll have no desire to do it. I won't even leave my couch actually. Um, but let's pray that that happens for everybody's sake. I got the DJI mic, had to make sure everything was good to go. I've had the battery for the Ingway charging sitting in my uh, office where I charge my batteries and um, I wasn't for sure if I had the microphone charged and uh, one of the GoPro batteries charged, but turns out I did, so kudos to me. It's a big thumbs up. Speaking of big thumbs up, why don't you give this video a thumbs up uh, for me getting the motivation to get a ride in today. I'm gonna say this because I never follow through with it, but since we're so late in the day, I mean, it takes me like two and a half hours sometimes to edit. I don't wanna be editing all night. On a Sunday night, you know, we're getting towards the end of the weekend. And we got work Monday and all that blotness. So if this video is not uploaded Monday, uh, it'll definitely be updated Tuesday, but I am recording on a Sunday, which I talked about earlier, so. But yeah, hopefully you guys have had a good weekend, done anything exciting, you know, gone out and did any drag racing or illegal riverboat gambling, you know, anything like that. And let's go ahead and pass this lady here. I don't know how good you guys can see this, but I ordered a bunch of uh, charging cables from Amazon. I wanted very small ones so I can make sure that I just had the cables that I could connect to my phone and then go into the bags to the uh, charging battery I have inside of all my, my bikes. So I just needed like one foot or three foot. So I thought, let me see if I can go to Amazon. Let me see if I can find any yellow cables to match the uh, beautiful Ingwe E26, the very vibrant banana yellow as I like to call it. and. You know, you're kind of just guessing when you're looking online, especially on Amazon, and they had a post and it was super cheap. You got 10, that's right, 10 of these little babies. I think they're 12 inches in length, so may, they might be uh, three foot, actually, I'm not for sure. Um, but you got like 
10 of them for 10, like 10 or 11 bucks. And the picture of it, like made it look like it was almost the absolute perfect color. So I was pretty pumped about that, you know? I'm like, hey, I got this idea uh, that I'm not gonna get hit by this red truck, actually. There we go. Uh, but I got this idea that I wanted to try to get, you know, matching cables to match the bikes and stuff. Uh, so when I got these, they are not bright yellow. They are more of a, uh, man, and I know I just called the Ingway bike collar banana, but they're more of like a Laffy Taffy. Have you guys ever had the banana Laffy Taffy? Like a light yellow, that's what this is. I'm gonna see if I can, like you guys see that right? You get that collar? I don't know if you are or not. Um, it kind of reminds me of like, I'm gonna call it, and I don't know if this is a technical term, maybe Crayola has trademarked this term, uh, but I'm gonna call it 30 year smoker in same house wall collar yellow. So I'm gonna trademark that 30 year smoker in same house wall collar yellow. So it kind of reminds me of like someone's house that has a, uh, they got white walls, uh, but they smoke 15, 16 packs a day and they've lived in the same house for 30 years. So time goes by, you gotta buy the house and you're like, okay, I'm gonna paint it. It's the walls are this shade of yellow. It's like a nicotine, maybe nicotine yellow. Maybe that's a better name for it. Maybe they can fit nicotine yellow on a Crayola crown a little bit easier than what I want to call it. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of those type of walls, like your great aunt, you know, that grew up in the 1940s and had a five day pack habit, smoked until the day she died, actually smoked in her coffin probably. Yeah, that kind of color, but hey, it works out. I got 10 of them and I, I, I sometimes, man, like, I like to think I'm at least somewhat intelligent, I'm not super intelligent, but I got 10 of these, so if I ever, if I ever uh, misplaced one, or I'm sure these probably aren't the highest quality considering they're like less than a dollar 20 a piece. Um, but they seem to work, they charge my phone and it's all we need. So I talked about in my last video that the uh, town I live in was having a 5K on the trail yesterday. And I happened to look at some pictures of it and yeah, it, it was definitely packed. So I don't know how far, I don't know if they come all the way on this area, but I know they started the park down here and it was absolutely packed. So I can only imagine the amount of money that they raised uh, for that new little restaurant I was telling you about in one of my previous videos, which I think is absolutely awesome. And also, Casey's Natural Spring Water, available at your local Casey's. Buy a 24 pack, it's only $4.95. Casey's is the best. Casey's, if you're watching this, uh, get a hold of me, okay? I'll drink all your water, just give me some money. Okay, it's actually really good when it's super cold, but when it's kinda lukewarm, it's, it's a six, six out of 10. But it has turned into such a gorgeous day. You know, I don't know if you could ask for better weather than what I have right now. I wish it would have been like this a little bit earlier in the day. I probably would have uh, come out and ride early this afternoon before I had all my running to do, uh, which would have allowed me to edit this video and probably get it uploaded for sure tomorrow. I don't know. Who knows when it will come up. <laughs> Hey. Oh my God, did, hold on. Did, did we just see? Okay, let's go, I need to go back, pause the video. Amazing, I do not feel alone anymore, hallelujah. The town has two more people on e-bikes, awesome. That gives me a, a, a funny feeling inside my stomach, a good funny feeling inside my stomach. So I didn't recognize them. I don't know if they're from here or maybe they just got their foldable e-bikes because that dude had electric and I think she had a, uh, is it Jason? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but they're both foldable, so it's pretty cool. I should have, 
made a little bit of conversation, you know, e-bike man to e-bike man and woman. Maybe they parked right here. Yeah, they're probably at the park, I would, I would assume. But yeah, pretty neat here, pretty neat. I'm telling you, we get a few more people with some e-bikes, maybe we can start a uh, e-bike club where we get leather jackets with like a big lightning bolt on the back with like shooting fire out of the lightning bolt. That'd be pretty cool. We can get little patches on the front with like our nicknames and maybe what we ride. Like, you know, like I can be, I can be uh, Ingwe. Having patches as Ingwe. Everybody will just know me as Ingwe. We can wear them out. Maybe after, maybe we'll, uh, Wednesday nights, we'll get on the e-bikes, hit the open road with our uh, leather jackets and our sunglasses. I'm really liking that idea. After I uh, finish this ride, I'm gonna write that down and I'm gonna see if we can get that started here. There's gotta be someone that can make some sweet leather jackets with a lightning bolt on the back just shooting fire out of it. That's my plan, that's my goal. I don't know, maybe I've seen one too many, uh, one too many movies. I think I'm combining uh, like Wild Hogs and like an episode of uh, Walker, Texas Ranger, or something like that. So I love this e-bike rides. I can just say whatever. You guys, if you're watching it, you're probably like, what in the hell? Or if you've watched a few of my videos, you kind of know my personality and how I am and you just, you just roll with it. I'm definitely rolling with some speed going down this hill though. Pedal assist one, I've been in one the whole ride. Get up to about 23 miles an hour, not even pedaling. Hi kitty, 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 kitty. Uh oh, do we see kitty cat? Hi kitty. Hi little kitty. You know, every time I see an animal, I gotta stop and please don't fall. Please don't fall, okay? Hi kitty. What are you doing? Kitty, 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 come here. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Come here. I hear a little kitty cat. Come here, kitty. Come here. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. <sighs> well, start of the summer season. Really started the kind of riding season, really. I've watched a lot of other YouTubers that have kind of talked about that too, where, um, you know, they kind of consider June to be really the start of the riding season. And I've been lucky that I've had some pretty decent weather, you know, especially the last month. Um, but, you know, we're still dealing with some rain and stuff, but yeah, I think we're definitely into the, uh, I don't think we're gonna have any more really cold days. I looked at the forecast for the next 10 days and I think it's supposed to be in the high 70s or the low 80s every day. I think there's a couple like 85, 86, so won't be too long when it'll be in the high 80s and the low 90s and be enjoying the uh, summer. So the kids are out, school's out. As you can probably see up here, it looks like, yeah, so it looks like the pool did open up today. I guess People playing basketball, enjoying the weather, hallelujah. All right, so we pretty much finished uh, the trail here. Up until they get the uh, other portion finished, we'll be able to do a complete circle. Um, but we're about 19 minutes into the ride already, so definitely a long ride. I'm gonna bump it up to pedal assist too. Just so we can get a little bit uh, quicker ride in here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna leave you guys with a 25 minute video where it's just pretty much me been riding, like no specific reason or whatever. I think I'm in the future, I talked about how I'm gonna probably only have like two videos a week, which I think is probably realistic, um, unless something comes up. But I also think that if something does come up and like I have a really cool video idea, Or uh, let me get past this area here and then uh, we shall continue the conversation like always. Um, get past here. All right. 
But yeah, so I did mention in a previous video where um, I feel like instead of just doing like three, four videos a week, and a lot of them are basically the same, and I'm kind of repeating the same crap to you guys, I think I'm gonna knock it down a little bit to maybe two videos a week. Um, and I wanna try to keep all my videos, if possible, under, under 20 minutes. Uh, now that's not to say if I don't have like a, a special video where I go ride somewhere, something else comes up and something a little bit different than me just doing what I'm doing now. Uh, I wouldn't be against posting longer videos. I think that's a pretty good idea, but that's for those special videos. I wanna try to keep just the ones like this under 20 minutes for you guys. Like we're at 21 minutes right now. But hey, if something interesting happens or whatever, I'll uh, definitely extend it out a little bit, but I've had to, in the last few videos, just, I'm out here riding and talking, I won't even pay attention. I'm like, oh sh crap, we're at 28 minutes. I don't want a 28 minute video for these people. I don't want to put them through that torture. I am glad that I was able to get a ride in today, no matter how non-entertaining and non-exciting it was for you guys. I don't know, maybe you guys like this. You know, maybe you like me just randomly turning into an empty field like this so you guys can see some, <laughs> something new. Oh my God, I just about hit my butt right there. <sighs> but yeah, so, got a lot done today. Oil's changed, cleaned my house, laundry's done. Uh, also bought a PS5, uh, complaining about me spending money and then I go and buy a PS5. Uh, I don't know why I bought it. Well, I know why I bought it, but that'll be another video because you guys do not want to hear my next obsession here. But as always, guys, thank you for spending your time helping me waste my time. We are back. I followed all the rules. Hopefully you guys do as well. And I'll see you in the next one.